arrived. It took many, many, many months, but we have finally arrived at the conclusion. The last zombie map I have not watched the solo world record for. I tweeted out at one point that all Dirtoten maps were certified bangers. And I, I was right. Mauer Dirtoten, banger. Keener Dirtoten, banger. I had forgotten about the worst of the Totens. The Tog Dirtoten. Ladies, and gentlemen, boys, and girls, I introduce you all to the world record Tog Dirtoten solo Easter egg speedrun by my boy, Iffy Stiffy96. Back at it again. After a quick word from our sponsor, we are going to watch this in its entirety. 46 minutes of absolute pain. We'll see you in a second. The mechs are finally here. Today's video is sponsored by Mech Arena, which is the first ever mobile game where I truly feel like my skill is being tested. If you want a shooter where your skill actually matters and you're able to outplay people by literally just being better than them, this is the game for you. The maps are built for tactics, fast action, and constant encounters. It's not a reflex first person shooter, so you don't have to be exactly accurate with your shooting, but it's more about the tactics and it feels so much faster than a normal mech shooter. Mech Arena has a huge variety of mechs, weapons, and skins to custom to your play style. In addition, Mechareen has awesome in-game events as well and great login rewards program, which you'll definitely not want to miss out on. It's completely free to play on Android and iOS right now. You can use my link in the description or scan my QR code if you would like to download the game. And if you do so, you get one mil spec skin, 500A coins, and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me at my username NoahJ456 and we can get some games together, so do not wait around. Now, they actually sent me this incredible Mechareen special box and I actually opened it up. Let's take a look. And opening up the box reveals, oh my god, this is so cool. A reversible double-sided Mecarina poster. Oh, I see. It's literally magnetic, and I see what the USB is for. There's actually like a screen, which if we and last but not least in this package we have another little sealed section in this one we have a shirt and a really really high quality mech arena coin which is just listen to this thing oh my god i'm gonna break my desk there's the shirt right there that is a beaut i think i'm gonna have to change into this and check this out you can literally use your camera to scan these different little character cards that are gonna pop up with a little model of the character in real life it is absolutely amazing and not only that you can do it on the mech poster spawn a little mech here and if that wasn't enough you can literally live inside of the actual arena here as you can see i'm just looking around my room as the usual and i can see the entire arena so there it is guys if you guys enjoyed this make sure you check out the link in the description and download mech arena it is super super fun and available to play for free right now thank you guys for watching let's get into the video well there it is there's the happiest part there's the highlight of the video a great sponsor now time for the low light of the video which is the entire rest of the video ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here we go without further ado togner toten solo speedrun world record by iffy stiffy who will be linked down below in the the description of the video all i want to see all i want to see right i want to see one thing out of the speed run and one thing only for it to start holy f black ops 4 is the slowest game ever oh my god there it is oh no <laughs> looks like the rest of the game skipped out on most man damn that's cool i'm gonna wait <laughs> this place is cold <laughs> We, we, we truly made it. We truly like, made it. Uh, I, all I want to see, all I want to see, I want to see the Tundra Gun. If that's even what it's called. I can't even remember what it's called. I want to see the Tundra Gun launch someone off the zip line, land in the area you need for the Easter egg, and complete the Easter egg that way. I want, I just want to see it once. Just one singular time. I do, I'm not going to lie. I remember absolute zero of the steps. Like, actual absolute zero of the stats all i know is that every single black ops 4 world record starts off with this pistol knifing and throwing some uh throwing some of the little grenades out the the wraith fire is literally the best item in the entire game it was some crazy book of everything now it's all about some agatha device rust man's never even hoiding a woman what did he just pre-hit something with snowballs or was that just for fun Wait, I'm so, wait, I'm actually so confused. It was worth coming here. I'm actually so confused. As, I, I, I'm gonna need to pull up the spreadsheets. I, I am so down bad. I am so down bad on this game, this, 
this easter egg that i literally have to pull out the spreadsheet what did he just pick up oh my god i literally played this like four times all that i'm learning right now is that i literally played this like four times and that was it there's a part one and a part two spreadsheet that's how bad it is dear lord okay step one is interact with the hermit at the top of the lighthouse to activate all his dummies on the map and then you can complete six challenges from two of the dummies so that that's step one uh he's pre-collecting things for god knows what maybe a, a ritual i don't i don't even know dude i don't even know dude it's just bo format for such collectathons, man they were such collectathons. i always appreciate it when stuff went in, in order I think he's getting TNT parts. For some reason in my head, I, I, I'm thinking TNT. Um, is, or the heat pack, maybe? Maybe it's the heat pack. Snowball. How about them snowballs? And then the there's a free tundra. The dynamite bomb! Kill a fire zombie using snowballs or the tundra gun. Pick up the part. Do the same for a total of three zombies. That, yeah. Okay, it is TNT. I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, so he's going to go up to the top, and he is going to talk to the hermit, Mr. Pablo. Never mind. Hey, just give me that blue rock. I can use it to help you. I can hold the rock up to this. He's going to shoot then some... He's going to pre-shoot some stuff. Who knows what? Yeah. Oh boy, I did like this part of the Easter egg, when there was, like, an interactable thing on the map that you, like, do something, and it would move around. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm supposed to do something with... Rust man, shut up, dude. Dear lord. <laughs> Dear lord, bro. Also, I'm guessing because uh, because of the theater system and the way the theater system works, I, I think uh, kill 20 enemies while standing in freezing water. Um, I think because of the theater system, it was like literally crashing if he took the little toggle controls thing off. And that's the reason why he has it on. There was like a bunch of theater bugs in BO4. That's Black Ops Cold War took care of that by completely removing theater mode from the game. <laughs> All right, so he takes it out again. Reminder that, uh, reminder that the biggest thing, the, the biggest like bonus of taking out your sword is that you get technically kills you get technically like kills without actually killing the zombies like they respawn uh, he's working on shattering frozen zombies dude i didn't realize there was a, a melee thing on the end of this double bonus points oh the the bells on the dock okay i'm kind of remembering some stuff here Oh, and then that was the trick to skipping the perk drinking animation. But it's not like you can move anyway, because you're literally standing all around in freezing water, so. I may not know why we're here or what we're doing, but I sure know how to splatter some brains. There it is. Beautiful. Play the hermit's favorite tune at the dock. There it is. What do you get for that one again? What is that? Um, ha. Huh. I don't remember. And then the hermit's gonna give his Dang, next challenge that here. Is tall. Make a good sniper points for Marlton. Marlton. Good old Marlton. All right. So is he going? Is he leaving that challenge for later? What kind of idiot builds a boat with a big square hole in the deck? I mean, what if I'm raised? Glub, glub, glub. <laughs> I am the wub-lub gub gub lub <laughs> The shrubble dub. You can do this one in your sleep, my friend. <laughs> All right, kill 25 enemies while standing still. That one, actually, you can do in your sleep, especially this early on. Um, oh, he's going to use the sword again. He's going to use the sword again to try to preserve as many zombie souls as he can here. Or for the round, anyway. That was a lot of zombies and quickly right there. There you go. Bro, I, I, I legitimately, if, if that was me, I would have already forgot to stand still. There it is. Got that done. Carpenter. Lots of free points coming from this as well. Oh, and he's got the melee attacks down. Smart, dude. So smart. 
And then that insta kill is not really gonna. Oh my, bro! There were some crazy camos that came out during the BO4 days, huh? Oh, the soup. The soup one, man. I remember being stuck on this Easter egg set for a while when we were trying to do this one. He hits the box. Bro, I, it's always crazy to me when, when uh, I mean, literally Moon would like to have a word, but it's always crazy to me when uh, right. things use the box. Got the Hades, that's pretty good. I put down rabbit animals before. Also, also my favorite thing about BO4 is how you literally don't want to use the, uh, you, you, you actually physically want to avoid using like the good gobble guns, like the quote unquote good gobble guns. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, he got. Oh, the he, he was going for Helian Salvo. But some things are worth That the makes weight. sense. Yeah, Uncanny. that makes sense. It literally is the wonder weapon of BO4. I, I was wondering what he was going for. If he was going for Tundra Gun or something. Somehow. They were, but here. Pretty decent ABH, I'd say. Pretty decent. Just so much wild stuff that goes on in this map. This place is a mess. Oh, also, I thought he picked Even up a soup part. What did he just pick up in that kitchen? Is that a riot shield part? He's picked up another part. Oh, is it? Is it just glitched? Is the soup? Mm. Uh, the soup ingredients glitched? In the back of the boat. And I sure could use a bite. Oh, that was for the the little handle. I remember that. So he needs to take the four dials to, from the hermit and bring them to the artifact storage area. Place the dials in the box below the walls and turn each of one until you hear a ding. See, that's a step right there. You you got to know what to do. A little hard to figure out, but super easy to replicate. Just turn it till you hear a ding. Easy. Easy peasy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Unless this, this spreadsheet is wrong. Hey, it's one of there those things. All right. Grabbing the, was that insta-kill? I couldn't even tell what that was. Arsenal Accelerator. He's trying to level up his sword as much as possible. He is turning the dial, which is doing a thing, of course. Everybody knows the thing, dude. Everybody knows the, come on. Who would not know what turning that dial does? Shoot, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. Rustman keepers, losers weepers. Losers keepers. Rustman weepers, losers keepers. All right, putting the stuff on there. Oh, he's racing the zip lines. That's what it. That's what it was. Of course. It tells you how much I play this game, man. It, it, like Bo4, man. I'll, I'll tell you what. Bo4 was still good compared to a lot of things, but. It fucked up this place worse than in a football bat. Got the dials. There's one dial. Big ding. Oh my god, the hits melee is by far the best part about that. Okay. Last dial. Alright. You got the last one. Slice and dice. Oh yeah, and then you get a voice line and you have to know where that is. So where preservation freezes is uh, for thirst draws or preservation freezes. Uh, the stern, that's the stern, the thirst uh, dawns its crane. We're bound slept is oh preservation freezes is main deck life preserver and then um we're bound slept i uh oh the forecastle the shipping container getting another part right there I'm, I'm, hey, hey, I'm glad they please you with popping a glove All right, so he got this. These are the little TNTs are done. He needs to clear his throat is what he needs to do. Ain't no seal of dualities going on. Mine and melee 
parlay the wooden board found in the ice grotto. I'll open the safe by, uh, by building and place dynamite on it. Oh, he's moving now. Oh, he's got, he's got the sh movement now. Oh, that was sick. Okay, that was the first, like, real sick trick right there. He's gonna blow that up. Oh, there it is. As long as it ends up being our ticket out of here. Okay. Yeah, the wooden board finding the ice grotto open the safe by building and placing the dynamite on it. So that was the first. That was by he's building the dynamite from the flaming zombies using the snowballs earlier. So now take the artifact storage area and place it down on the center barrel. This will release the giant red orb. Well, you could have done that sooner. All right. Retrieve what we have lost. What was that again? Man knows how to dance. Um, now where's my next pot? Shoot this orb three times to move it. This will send out three smaller orange orbs across the map that must be found. Once found, freeze them with snowballs, then shoot them. Return the artifact storage area, freeze it, and shoot the orbs again. They absorbed in the seal. Oh, yeah. This is the part where you literally just had to run around the map and look for exactly that and then freeze it and then shoot it. And then you have to do that with three different ones. I was just trying to figure out what, what the snowball he threw at the very beginning of the game was. What's that thing the scum sucker left behind? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't even been to the other area of the map just yet. Most men always wanted a porch with a nice view. Is he, is he going up there finally? All right. I think he's going up. Oh, no. He needs the handle. Oh, yeah. There we go. That, so that's what he was doing. He was getting the handle there from that guy. From, from good old Pablo. Rustman's coming in. All right. Uh, uh, Rustman don't like this room. It smells like bleach. Bleach. Oh, there goes the orb. I think he did. Uh, did he just accidentally scare it away? I think he accidentally scared it away. That was bad. Must be the brains of the operation. There you go. And then you get the you got the test subject up there. Classic. Taking orders from a Ruski. <laughs> Belinsky to me. Continue searching for components of a Garfin device. We are counting on you. Oh, and then this is where you get the free something. Ah, uh, yes, it's the free something here. Frill the frill device. device. Very powerful, especially once you charge it up. You are closer and closer to yeah, this yeah. conflict. And then this is where you get the so that that's where you get the Vril device, which is needed. I think. Good old helium salvo. Bid you twenty bucks at the flea market. And oh, what's the what's the next part? What is it? What I I can't remember what he's doing right now. Oh, this is the lockdown. Oh, this is to get the Samantha Samantha bombs, right? Yeah, okay, so you get the key card, you find the key card, you go to the human infusion, activate the power switch, go to the security lobby, find the security panel, interact with it, and insert the key card, wait until they've returned, go inside human infusion, insert the key card to each side of the vault, interact with the vault to begin to lock in and survive until complete to get the Samantha bombs. Samantha music box, rather. They're not bombs, they're music boxes, of course. Although, shoot, they might as well be boxes. Bro, I love all the like the sword was one of the coolest things to make ever, man. You you what he's doing right there is if you jump up and then you do the the left click, it will like not use it if that makes sense. Like it'll still do the damage, but you won't get shot forward. So it's a faster way than doing like constant swipes and stuff. So it's so weird. There's so many like very interesting things. Step off, skin nibblers. All right, there we go. She fights for us now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that, man. I don't know if I'd ever trust Samantha. Got a max ammo. What is he doing right here? Oh, oh, that's right. He's getting the zombies ready for uh for the real device uh, to insert the souls. That's right. That's right. That's what he's doing. Yep. Yep. So, 
So I got Vril. Vril do Gonna go ahead and get the nuke. A perfect round ender as well. I mean, I mean, it's the first time I've watched it, but I still know what's lucky and what's not, and that was very lucky. You have met man in lighthouse, yes? Rosemary ain't too proud to take help wherever he can get it. Alright. Whips out the sword. Gonna go all the way back since he's finished with this. Dude, you can schmoove with this sword. I love it so much. Definitely one of the best parts about BO3. Or BO3, BO4. You must be their purifier. Tame the blood you collect. All right, Samantha box into the fire. Hey. I love, dude. The Samantha bombs are so creepy, man. <laughs> They're so creepy. Okay, so once you do that, um. Press, uh, place the seal on top of the campfire next to the sunken path and throw the music box next to it. You got the real device. I, I have something for you. Let's uh, try. So here goes the real. Oh yeah, what do you get? What do you get? I forget what you actually get back. Is it the? Is this how you get the the thunder gun or the uh, freeze gun? I used to be a test subject. I have seen all of this strange artifacts and forces they on me. Well, I guess we're never going to figure out what it was. I guess we're literally never going to see what it was. I just realized he hadn't even turned all the... Uh... has power enough to activate golden pack-a-punch machine. Much better than normal machine. What the bang for buck, man. He's out on a little island near ship. Just try not to get killed out there, okay? So he needs another TNT. He's activated Golden Pack a Punch. This is the kind of hobby. He has a something man. waiting for him. I'm assuming he's gonna switch out his uh, vapor for it, and I think it, I I want to say it's the is it the Wonder Wolf? Um, to make that taste like it. I I can't remember if, it, if it's the Wonder Wolf or I, I don't know what. We'll we'll see. We'll see. I know Mike solves all kinds of problems. Okay. Gonna open that up. Wait for this to finish. Oh, Dempsey. When I come to three, you want to... Do you do you have to listen to this every time? I'm trying to remember. I think you do. Okay, clear, collect a pair of substones from the hermit and place them on the ground by the lighthouse. Use the trap to heat them up. And... Bring it up here. Dude, the hermit just constantly is just like, hey, I'll trade you a thing for another thing. Can't, you, you can't beat my trades here. Oh, he did get PhD slider as well. He got big PhD slider. Whoa, what was that splice, dude? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> splice, splice gameplay doesn't count. Doesn't count. You both had no Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then this, this is how you do the. Uh, this is how you heat up the soapstones. He's got both so soapstones heated. Um, and then you need to bring them to the human infusion area without touching the water. Okay, so now he's going over here. Place one stone in the human infusion machine and then the other one in the decontamination room trap. Activate the trap to cool it off and place it in the machine on the other stone oh, with the other stone. Grab the fuse that unlocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You need one hot one. There's the hot one. And then here's how you get the cold one. Yes, I was born lucky. There it is. I'm pretty sure if you run through that trap, you die too. Fun fact. I'm pretty sure that's the that's an insta kill trap. I mean, he might just show me up here though. Oh, what a what a round change, man. That music. Yeah, I, I pretty yeah. I think it's instant death if you run through there. I was hoping PA or no, it's not instant death. Maybe you just have to wait for the full thing to go. 
Any day now. Well, there goes that. Arsenal accelerator. Okay, that soapstone is moving south. Now what? All right, you got it. Bro, he really needs to pack a bunch of Cecilian Salvo. Okay. He's like killing very specific zombies right here. Big kaboom. I'm Big kaboom. Old and fat to be doing this shit. <laughs> Good old Rustman. I don't. I don't know what he was doing there. Place the fuse into the power box next to the original Call of the Dead Easter egg door. Um. So he goes down here. Fuse goes in. Uh, I was afraid of this. He goes out. Oh, and then this is where you need the generators. And there's where you need the... Yeah, that's what he was doing. He's getting the free Wonder Waff. Was he going for, was he going for literally the God Shot right there? I think he was. Now has partial charge. Okay, so he has those. Shoot the batteries in the two electrical towers at the facility with the Wonder Wop. Power three generators on the map by killing electric zombies near them. There's one. So that's what he was doing. He was trying to save all the electric zombies. And he made them respawn by using anywhere but here next to it. Dude. The, 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 these, these, these Easter eggs got some... Got some methods to their madness. I'll tell you what. I'll tell. I'll tell you what, brother. Definite methods to these madnesses here, on what these players do. It's pretty impressive, actually. And there's three out of three. Glad it's doing There it is. I can't ever be Dude, the ele I feel like the elemental stones, like, what, what were they called? Those things right there were never really fully explained very well. Do we even know what the purpose of them was and why we saw, like, two of them, not, like, all four of them? You know what I mean? It's very interesting. Bring us the device. Oh, yeah, and that's where you have to shoot it. Okay, and zip line across. Oh my God, that's such a hard snipe. No! He missed the snipe with the snowball. He missed it, dude. No! I mean, he's going to be fine. He's going to go back and have another opportunity, but that's a little bit of a time loss. Little, little tiny baby bit, but that is obviously a extremely hard throw. He's looking for the other one right now. Oh, there it is. He sees it. Easy. Throw, throw a snowball from there. Do it. You won't. There it is. All right, last thing he knows, he knows exactly where the last one is. So, interact with the few, repeat the orb in the campfire music box step. Next up is you need to give the seal to the hermit and survive a lockdown in the lighthouse for two minutes. Bro, no wonder this Easter egg's solo world record is so much longer than the other maps, man. How, how are you supposed, how, like, literally, how are you supposed to do, and, like, it's like the honestly the fact that it's under an hour is really impressive like really really optimized and really really impressive oppressive impressive honestly this the the, the hardest part of, part about this run seems to be the uh the 
hardest part about the run seems to be the uh the aiming the snowballs on a controller with no no aim assist on them let's see that seems like the hardest part okay so he's done with this um and now he needs to give the seal to the hermit and survive a lockdown in the lighthouse for two hours no i'm just kidding two minutes oh and he's got packed a punch Oh, what did he grab there? He grabbed something. And he only pack a bunch once, which is kind of interesting. Wonder if there's a reason he only pack a bunch once rather than multiple times. Um, oh, prob uh, honestly, probably because he only needs one pack a bunch to get back here in time. And waiting for the speeches that aren't playing because he left. <laughs> this is where you have the speech part of the game. Well, they give speeches and stuff. I've known three women named Agatha. None of them look like that thing. Shut up, Russ. Man. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Oh my god. This is stupid. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time for a lockdown. He, dude, he is so close. Actually, to the uh, the boss fight is gonna take a lot of this. Here we go. So you place the seal into each pack machine at its four locations and charge it with zombie souls. That's the next thing after this. He's got a two minute lockdown and then he needs to charge it. And then he does one last campfire step. That's the last thing he needs to do. And then it's boss fight time, which I'm really excited for. Oh my god, Samantha, Samantha, Samantha just be way too creepy. I'll be the one to say it, man. Samantha, ain't nobody have no business making Samantha as creepy as she is in this game. Oh, big, big charge. Big charge on the uh, the old path of Zara's there. Let's see if you can make it to tier three. Come on, tier three. Come on, tier three. Oh, he didn't get it. I really thought that was going to be it. I'm not going to lie. I was really getting for him. Bro, this Wonder Weapon was hot doo-doo, man. I hate it. I hated the new Wonder Waff. Then again, I'm not really a big Wonder Waff lover in the first place, so. To be fair, to be fair, that makes sense. Does he have equipment? Oh, yeah, he does. Got a double double. Equipment. There it is. It seems like he's trying really hard to save a bunch of points. Not sure if that's true or not, but. Yeah, take out that salvo. You don't need all that. You, need, you don't need all that. Uh... Oh, he, he got the, he's got a sword done. All right, so he has sword leveled up, or almost ready to be leveled up. Okay, he's gonna use this sword for a fast move speed right here. Grabs a shield, and zoom in. And absolutely zoom in, dude. And at number one. Oh, what is he picking up behind the pack but <laughs> that was weird. Uh, that that must have been someone else. That that must have been someone else. That was really weird. Uh, what is he getting? Um, unlock the golden pack bunch slash zip line handle. A figure can be found behind each of the pack bunch locations. Locate all five of them. Once they're all found, interact with the suitcase altar found on the beach cove and place the figurines. Uh, survive the wave of electric zombies for an extra perk. Wait, what? Is he really going for an extra perk? You ain't had your food yet, have you? Is he, is he really going to go for an extra perk? Does, I'm trying to figure out, is there any reason he would need, like, guaranteed electric zombies? This is the last thing he needs to do before the boss fight, so... It seems weird that he would need to do with the uh, figurines. That is so cool, dude. I love that so much. Hey, he picked it. He picked it up again. 
He's going for the figurines. Don't ask me why, but he is. He wants he wants that extra perk, dude. Difference maker in the game. Oh, that that uh what's it called? That carpenter would have been so great while his shield was very, very like weak after doing the lockdown. Would have been perfect for it. Dude, one, one thing I will say, BO4 got right. The soul box collection noise is so, so clean, man. The soul box collection noise is so satisfying. Another figurine. This man's on fire with him. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. My old private voted you lie. Helian Salvo, Helian Salvo, why are you so OP? <laughs> Alright, there's three. I think he only needs one more, right? I think he only needs one more. And then he is in El Basurino. El Basu Faitu. And why is he waiting so much for all of the... Zombies here. Oh, this one tops off your tank. I mean, that was pretty dope. I was he, he was trying to use it in the round question mark. And there it is, level three, finally. Level three. Dude, I I, I think he was trying to end the round and then get to this area and have the fresh wave, which is just so much of a time save. It's so smart, dude. Players are so effing good at this video game, man. Iffy Stiffy is a god. Iffy Stiffy is actually a god. Make sure y'all go down in the description and subscribe to this man. He is, he is unbelievable, truly. Something special. Something truly, truly special. Go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. And I think that's it now? I'm pretty sure that's it. Also, I thought he was gonna do more challenges. I thought you, uh, this this says you can need to complete six challenges from two of the dummies. Was that like six total? I, I... Dude, Helium Salvo, just so OP, man. Build the heat pack. Quickly! Astion. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he just doing this for fun? I I think there I think there's literally nothing he can do right now. Is this is it? I mean this is boss fight. I know she's got every right to be mad, but with her dad being killed and all. So how can we be sure she won't turn on us? You know, there was a time when the face the masses was very much a father to me too. What? You're serious? I only ever knew him as a bitter rival. The Cronorium shows only Samantha's path to redemption. When war is over, she will be normal child again. Innocent. Yo, Black Ops Cold War oh, said, nice. nah, fam. Oh, Black no. Ops Cold War said, nah, fam. Not We're taking mind. Samantha. We're injecting her right I'll back into the dark ether, no son. Samantha told you something very important. They, they said, let's inject her right ever. back in. Is that she would make every single okay. She said her dad had a plan. Look, the lighthouse beam. Look, the lighthouse beam. All right. Time for golden pack a bunch launch. And AKA time for boss fight. I think I think you have time to pack a punch and stuff before you uh, before you actually start the boss fight. So he, he, he'll be able to 
he'll be able to like literally get ready for the for the boss fight before doing the boss fight i think that's the one nice part about this Whee all right what happens i don't intend to die here we got the last little figurine there Gotta pack a bunch of the last one. And here we go, it's time. Does he get to pack a I thought you get to pack a bunch. Rust man ain't the sharpest night. Oh I guess not. I really thought you did! I know what is happening. The device is evolving, affecting all element 115 in the area. Dude, this part was so stressful. The first time doing this was so incredibly stressful, man. Oh God, it's just giving me bad flashbacks. Also, LOL at being able to see literally anything. Good advice. LOL at being able to see anything at all. Oh, doesn't this circle stop multiple times? He only has one bullet left. Oh, that's not good. This is gonna rain. Woo! Fulton, bro. Yes. Oh, we. Oh, nice. I didn't realize you would get this uh, uh, guaranteed one. I forgot. Happy birthday to the ground. All right. Here we go scary part where all the ice turns into effing lava, bro. It don't pay to step too far from that thing. Dude, I, the, the colors on YouTube sometimes? I swear, I'm not even watching the same game. Oh, also, is he not taking damage because of PhD? Oh, no. No, he's still avoiding it. Or is he just avoiding it for fun? It seemed like he, he wasn't taking damage when he was stepping on the lava. But then again, all I can see is the color red. So, shoot, who knows? DMZs! All right, here comes another stop, I believe. In which case, he's going to fire literally one bullet, and he's done. So OP, dude. <laughs> so OP. Dude, I hate, I hate how OP it is. The Helion Salvo is the wonder weapon. Oral gift? Is he just popping that for fun? <coughs> it doesn't seem like temporal gift is actually used in anything. It ain't great in the cycle, but I'm a dead man outside. All right. He went, he went invis. The, 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 the katana was just straight up the best weapon. And that's just true. That's just big true. It, like it has invisibility, super speed, like one shot killed everything all the time. You know what I mean? Like why would you ever not use the katana? Staff of Ra was good sometimes. Like if you had bad teammates, Staff of Ra was good. That was about it. That was about it. I hate to say it. That was it. All right, here we go. One more stop for the boys. Bro, hey, look at the micro movements out of this man. Just truly take, making the zombies take the longest time possible to reach him. Clean. I, I don't know what to tell you. Wait, is that not is that not it? Oh, he was done. Oh, I thought he got a nuke. I was like, oh, that's not good actually. Getting a nuke actually is so bad. Another skip? That's it. It's confirmed. He's a cheater. If he's stiffy, is a confirmed cheater. That's it. Clip it. Put it on the tubes. Put it on the tubes. Oh, 
Oh boy. Double points with Temporal Gift Pog. Woo! Extra long double points, yeah! When you are literally already in the Easter egg. <laughs> and doing the boss fight and there's nothing left to buy. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he's making his way to the specimen room. This was such a strange, but I mean, it was like hype. But this was such a strange boss fight, dude. What What is everyone's thoughts on this quote-unquote boss fight? I, I I think I prefer this over like Zetsubo no Shima. Even though there's no big boss, like Zetsubo was just Zetsubo was just not it for me personally. I don't know, man. I don't know. Zetsubo never hit correctly. On, in terms of the boss fight. The cutscene was... Oh my god. But... Boss fight... In particular, boss fight was like... Eh. Eh. Dude, there's so much to do on this map. There's Golden Pack, a bunch of free Thunder Gun, Samantha's Music Box, Riot Shield, free Wonder Waff. You gotta know all the offerings. You gotta know the, the boat location, oh, challenge yeah. totems, yellow snowballs, Easter egg song number one, Easter egg songs number two. You need to know, uh, you need to know the dynamite bomb, the tundra gun, heat pack, extra perk. Bro, there's two, there's two pages of reference guides for this map. There's so much stuff. Also, did he just activate the Easter egg song right at the very end? <gasps> wait. <laughs> wait, oh, is this the, uh, wait, is this for the free perk? Did he just do this for fun? Uh, interact with the suitcase altar found on the beach cove. Oh no, no it's not. Is this the Easter egg song? Uh, interact with the large metal door in the lighthouse station total three times. Did he do that? Or is this just literally the ending? Oh no, this is literally the ending. When it gets, gets smaller and smaller, I forgot about that. I forgot the, the music starts playing and you have to like survive here. Here it is. You have spoken many times of a war, you cry. A, a great war. Yeah, a war unlike any we have ever seen. Oh, are you going to tell them everything? That's the Easter egg song. The Apothecons, the Keepers, the Shadow Man, the Dark Ether, Monty. Shadow Man. The Apotha what's? What's he talking about, Nikolai? They are legends contained in the book, the Cronorium. Tales of demons and angels commanded by the forces of light and darkness. That does not sound unlike any war we have ever faced. Demons and angels, light and darkness, the big stuff. Who was who? Which was which? Do you know that, Nikolai? Monty and Shadow Man were more similar than you know, Richtofen. Both were corrupted by the Dark Ether. One by his own ambition, the other desperately trying to save his friend. Do you remember when I asked you what you really want? We remember. But why do you ask this now? Because the Great War? No. The greatest war is the one is we the friends we made along the way. <laughs> All right, well, cutscene. Oh my God, that anywhere but here. <laughs> I like wasn't actually ready for him to be hitting the anywhere but here right there. <laughs> you are amazing. I need it. Nothing was going to stop you. And I mean, that was a pretty darn good anywhere but here to end it. Literally the second best place you could have got the anywhere but here. I forgot that the Easter egg's not completely over once you get all the voice lines. And? My friend, you asked me before what my name is. I did not tell you because I no longer felt like myself, you know? But you brought me back. You may be whole again. Oh yeah, he has to run to the front of the ship. I forgot about that. My name is Pablo. Pablo Marinos. Once and future hero of the Great War. And I am going to save the universe! Go I wanted Robert. to see him leave! He left that for you. And here 
We... Dude, there's so much waiting at the end. There's so much waiting at the very end. Imagine he gets the glitch where he can't, like, activate it. And there it is. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The world record Easter egg by the one and only Iffy Stiffy. Let's freaking go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Every single person go subscribe to Iffy Stiffy who is watching this right now. Guy is an absolute Call of Duty beast at zombies. He is the legend. He is one of the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this final, final Easter egg world record, man. So we're, we're caught up. I mean, there's going to be more zombie maps, but that's... We're caught up. It's weird. It's really weird. I don't know, man. I feel strange. That, that that was a lot. It took a long time to get there, but that is every single world record. Now, I guess, we wait for people to beat them. We see if uh, any more pain can be inflicted. And uh, I, will, I will be back. I will return. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace.